What do you do when your wife calls you and says, uh, washer quit working? I said, well, maybe we should call repairman. She looked at me and she says, your Marv's fix it, chop, you can fix anything. Well, I guess I can't weasel out of this one. I don't really like working on appliances. There's a lot of electronics to the newer stuff and it's just so compact. Sometimes it's hard for me to get going on this, but she's right. If I live up to my channel's name, I gotta try at least. I may not know for sure how to fix it, but at least I gotta give it a try. So follow along, let's see if we can get this washer going. So what I asked her was, well, what's wrong with it? And she said, the agitator isn't working. It just clicks, click, 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 click. Okay, so I turned it over and started working on it. Well, first thing I did was I brought it to my shop where I could work on it. So let's dive right into it and let me show you what I found. Well, I turned the thing over. The first thing I did was I took this little shield off here to just get an idea of what, what I have under here and expose this belt few other things and also exposed this little thing right here it bolted on right in there I got to looking at it and there's a little clip right under here that uh, uh, it moves and it changes the rotation of the agitator and I didn't even, I don't even know what this is called. It's some kind of a switch that's got kind of timer or something that causes this to, to move and then moves this little arm. Well, I've concluded that this was the problem. This part here fits, this part right here fits into a little hole right there and the, uh, the idea of it is that, that when this motor goes, it goes like that and then like this. And that changes, I think it changes the direction of the uh, agitator and actually allows the agitator to move. Sometimes i found that sometimes this will pop out of this little area right here and it, the fix is as easy as popping it back in. I don't know if you can see that or not. Probably not, but it's right there. Let me adjust the camera just a little bit. Right there. Anyway, I went online and I purchased a new one of these. Cost me about 20 bucks. I don't know if that's going to fix it, but let's see. Let me get the new one out of the box and see if I can't get it installed. I turned this up so that you can get a better look at what I was talking about. This right here, no, this right here fit into this, and this turns like that, and it activates this which uh, every time you do that, I guess, it changes the rotation. I don't know, I've never worked on one of these. Maybe you do, let me know if I'm, if I'm on the right track. But uh, here's the old one. And like I said, I went on the Amazon River and bought me another one. It was only $19. I looked it over real good and it's the exact same numbers for this washer. I don't know if you can read that. But uh, let's put this on. These two screws right here. We'll take one out and one out. Now I've got to figure out again how this was mounted. I think it went like this. And that one in there, and this right in there, 
let me get my Phillips screwdriver and we will see how that goes. Just going to go ahead and put the shield back on it also. And once I turn this up and hook it up and fill it up with water, and I hope this works. I don't like working on this stuff, but I did years ago own a laundromat. And I was forced to work on some of these washers. They were all Maytags, but Maytag was still Maytag back then. I think Maytag has been bought out. I don't even know. But I think so. That's tight. Tight. And the only other thing that I have to do is plug this in. And I think that's as easy as just snapping it in, I hope. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So let's see about putting this back on. It should be as easy as getting a nut driver and running the screws back in. There's several components to a washer like this. You have all this underneath, obviously. The back will come off right here, the back. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that comes off. You can expose all the electronics on top. Sometimes, I guess, you have to remove the drum. That looks like it would be a chore. It's doable, but not really something I like to work on. See, the thing is, I know that this controls a water pump right here. You can see that down there. I know that much. I am not sure what this does, but it's hooked into all the electrical, so it's some kind of a compa uh, capacitor or something. I don't know. Tell me what this is. Uh, you got the belt, which is in good shape. You got the motor, and you got this pulley that pops off that's got little plastic parts under there that I guess could break. I looked at it when I uh, was evaluating things. It looks like this whole mechanism here would come off. You could lift the whole thing out. Sometimes these water pumps get plugged, so you got to open them up to get trash and junk out of that. I've had coins get in there and all kinds of stuff, but this one works j just fine. But other than that, you don't have those big transmissions under here unless it's under in here. And if you do, I don't think you're going to do much about working on that. Maybe. Let's get this turned over and let's get it set up and see if we can't test it. You see this washer here in the background. It's a Maytag. I bought it um, oh, a year or so ago. Didn't pay much for it. Homeowner got a new set and I told him what I'd give him for it. He said no guarantee. It could last for a while. It could last five minutes. So I bought it. And I made some kind of a makeshift hook up to my sink here in the shop. And this is what I use for my shop rags and different things in the shop. Yeah, it's a little big and it gets in the way once in a while, but it sure is useful to wash stuff where you don't have to take it to the home washer, laundromat or whatever. But I use this all the time and kind of nice I had it in here. My wife could bring her laundry and she used this. It works real good. And with that, I, I, did make, I did have a makeshift setup here in my shop, and I'm going to show you how I do that. I went and bought one of these Ys. 
and I attached a quick attach uh, coupler to it. I hooked it to the other end to my sink and all I do is I push that on like that and then I crank both waters open and that you can see the water comes out just fine. It comes out warm because it's both going into one but I divide it in two and then all I do is I hook that to the uh, water outlets in the back of the washer. Let me show you that. You have a blue for cold and red for hot but since I'm blending these up there at the sink it doesn't really matter which side goes where you just want them on there and that's all I did was to get my water to it turn that on and turn this on I'm right in the way here huh? let me get this turned on and there you go and for the drain all I simply do is I put this drain inside the sink you can see that and it works just fine I did have it uh, I had one of those little uh, oh what do you call it zip tie straps and I attached it so I wouldn't come back and my shop floor was flooded and for the electric All I do is run an extension cord. It does go to a GFI outlet though, in case something would go haywire here. Wouldn't uh, shock me or anything. So that's on. Testing it to see if it would work. I started washing some rags. It didn't work. So I'm just going to dump them back in here. They have soap and stuff in it already, I think. It doesn't matter. Those have been washed before. So I'm going to put this on normal up here at the dial. It's filling. We'll let that fill and once it gets started I'll bring you back in. This is going to take a little while to fill. It's a pretty good sized top loader. Uh, my wife loves this washer. It cleans the clothes really well. So we'll let it do its thing, like I said, and I'll bring it back in. And I hate working on this stuff. I sure hope this fixes it. I'd like to get this back in the house this afternoon if I can. You hear that? I think that's the sound of success. That sounds like it's working. Let's let it go through all the cycles and we'll just see. I might have just fixed this thing and I don't even know how to fix a washing machine. The test run was successful. The washer ran through all its cycles, did everything it was supposed to do. Um, I guess it's fixed. It surprises me as much as it surprises you. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel. And if you like videos like this, and the challenges that I have, I work on a lot of things in this shop. But, um, why don't you check out the video where I test a boat motor on the lake after it's uh, been uncrated. It's it's pretty short video and it's kind of interesting. Went up to Lake Michigan and to test this motor uh, first time on the boat where I could actually test it and I, I think you'll enjoy watching it. Just click on this video right here. Can it be fixed? Sure it can. Can you fix it? You're darn right you can. Until the next one.